Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne, I am a makeup artist and in today's video, I will be doing a Sephora haul and telling you which one between online and in store is the best to shop. So if ever you wanna know what I got, both online and in shop, then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to never miss a video. So let's get into it right away and we don't need to get closer, just stay tuned to know what I bought and what I'm excited for. Hello! So as you can see, I already have a little makeup to, makeup on. So if ever you want to know what this makeup look is, it is the E-Girl Makeup Tutorial. So if ever you want to go see that makeup tutorial, it will be up here and it's going to be listed down below as well. So it's going to be amazing. Go check it out because it's so funny. <laughs> but I really love it. So let's get into uh, online and in-store haul. So I went to the Sephora store um, to buy some things first. I was talking to some people in store and they were really amazing. I was asking them some questions, just, you know, talking to people. And uh, she told me to look it up online because there was some sales going on. So it was a 50% uh, probably Valentine's Day sales or 50% sales. So that, that means that up to 50% some products are going to be on sale. So uh, what's good about in store, um, you buy what you want. So what's not in sale? you go get it in the store. So you can show the product that are in sale online and they will price match uh, from the Sephora app in the store. So that is amazing. So if you want to go check out the palettes or check out anything, you can go in store and swatch it and then buy it there while showing them the price that's on the app. So that's really amazing. So one thing that is good is they give you samples, right? And you can ask for free samples of, for example, foundation and other stuff. And online, you can't really ask for that. You know, you can choose other stuff with your points. I'll show you what I bought on in store and what I received as samples uh it's really good you're gonna see so let's dive into this little goodie bag right here that i bought so excited so i bought two things in the store because i really wanted to try one and i love the other one so the first thing that i bought was the huda beauty life liner bought it and i really wanted to try it i really wanted to try huda beauty stuff <laughs> like you like you probably heard in my other videos but i am so excited for this product um, I don't know if I have the good cleanser to remove it entirely. If not, I'm going to have to go shop in the drugstore to get like a balm to remove my makeup. But um, this will probably last all day long and over. So I'm excited to try this. It is dual ended. It is $33. It might be on the pricier side, but at least you have two products in one. So it's like it comes to like $15 each. So it's not too bad. And I'm excited to try it. So I'm going to have a review on this coming as well. So. After that, um, what I bought is the Marc Jacobs Instant Volume Epic Lashes um, Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. This one right here. And I bought the mini version just because I don't go through a big version. So for me, it's not worth it to buy the big version. But um, yeah, this is my holy grail of mascara. This is like the first mascara that I bought at Sephora. So that's what it looks like. And you know, like I already have long lashes like you saw and I need volume. I do not need length, I need volume. And I was always wearing glasses all the time before cause now I have some contacts in. And um, so I needed something that had volume. So they uh, recommended this and it was my holy grail of freaking mascaras. And nothing came across it in the drugstore. So this one is my all time favorite. All right, so that's the two products that I bought in store. Then they gave me uh, by the way, this uh, mascara is $19, the mini version. If not, it's another price. I don't remember which one, but it's uh, $35 maybe. It's more expensive, but I prefer the mini version because I go through... You have to change them every three months, usually for sanitary reasons, and it's better to have the mini version. So you can bring it everywhere, basically. So then they give me samples. So you don't choose your samples when they give you one, like at the counter. So uh, obviously, they always give you perfume, which... You know, like I don't really wear that much perfume in my life. So they, they came in a little package and they give me more than when I'm in the province of Quebec. Actually, I was in Ontario and they gave me way more. So if you are Gatineau, you know, Ottawa area, go to Ottawa. They're going to give you way more for your money. But they gave me this and there's three samples in it. So there's the Tom Ford Ombre Leather and it's in little components like this. There's another one which is Tom Ford Grey 
vetiver. I don't know what it is, but something. They smell good. I mean, they smell, they kind of smell too strong for me. And the other one is Givenchy Gentleman Warm and Spicy. So there's three little things in here. The packaging's cute. I mean, it's really cute. Um, if not after that, they gave me uh, the same. It's a masculine glam glow super serum, six acid refining treatment, and hopefully this won't burn my face. But we have to try this. Uh, they gave me two because one is probably not enough for the entire face. But she was kind of generous, the lady at the counter, so and she was really really nice. And what you can ask for is samples of products. So I asked sample of products. Um, I bought the I took the Huda foundation, Huda Beauty foundation, and the Huda Beauty concealer. I wanted to try it, and of course, if I love it because it's full coverage, I have acne and everything, so I want to try more of her products. And I wanted to try the Nymph, but there wasn't any um, of my the Luna color wasn't there, so that's like the rose gold color that's for pale skin like me, but uh, it wasn't there anymore. So I don't have it, but I'm gonna try this foundation too. So. Can't wait to try it. Hopefully it's still good. So that is what I bought in store. So let's get to the online stuff, which is so good, honestly. Um, so that is my box, uh, Sephora. It came right at my apartment and it came really fast. Like they said it would come like seven days after, but it actually come in three, four days. So it was really amazing. Um, I didn't have to go out to go get it. I thought I would have to go to Sephora to pick it up, but I didn't. So there's a bunch of paper that's gonna keep it like nice. Then you have um, your receipt, which, you know. And then what's good is that when you order online, you can choose some samples, which are way better than in store. So, and you can spend your points. If you want to spend your points, go do it online because it's going to be way better than if you do it in store. They have way more products. So I'm just going to organize uh, the, the things. And I spent my points, right? Because I had like a lot of points. So I bought uh, three products only because they were on sale. They were like on sale. So I bought Huda Beauty again because <laughs> I really wanted to try her line. And by the way, her new palette is coming soon. Like, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do because I just bought this and I'm like, I want everything. But I'm going to have to do a review on these palettes um, because it's amazing. At first, I wanted to buy the big palette, like the Mercury re Retrograde. But then I was like, oh, you know, like it's 80 something dollars. It's kind of expensive. So I started with uh, the smaller palettes. And since they were on sale, I bought three. So it came to like 10 bucks off as a big palette and there's more shades in it. So. The one I wanted to try because, you know, Jeffree Star Collection is out um, and it's going to come the 21st of February, which I'm not going to be buying. Um, I wanted purple, so I bought the Huda Beauty Amethyst uh, Obsession. And I like the packaging because it's really minimalistic. And then you can keep it to uh, keep your packaging really nice. And it's good for the environment. Well, it's plastic. It's not good, but I mean, it's better than having big, big packaging. So I like the minimalistic packaging. Um, it's really cute. It's small. And you have a little mirror. You have the eyeshadows. And I just think that it's nice. So if you go somewhere, you only need to take this with you and you can just put it in your purse. It's kind of, yes, they look like small pants, but they are deeper, um, the pants. So as you can see, it's deeper. And when you look at other pants, they might not be as deep. Um, but I'm excited to try this. So the next ones that I bought, I didn't really open these ones yet. So hopefully all uh, they're all good. So the next one that I bought is Neon pink so it's a pressed pigment palette right because uh they want it looks orange anyway it's the pink one um this packaging too is nice this is a little bit heavier and bulkier it's like they changed the packaging i like it because it closes really well so let's open this together and wow i really like the mirror it's so nice oh my god those they, the reason why i took this palette with the purple is because there's a lavender there's some red pinks and there's some purples and pinks and a neon pink so i was like okay those two palettes are going to complement each other and i really like it honestly i like the mirror there's a little mirror protector on it there's nothing on the eyeshadows but at least there's something on the mirror so it's clean so 
Um, nice. And then I put it back in its packaging because I need to keep the packaging in my life. Like <laughs> I have to. Uh, I, when I travel, I just put everything back in their packaging just so um, it stays well together. And then the third palette that I bought, which will go together with the other ones too, it is the Neon Orange palette, which look basically almost the same on the camera as the other one, but this one is the orange. So I didn't really have any orange in my collection. I had like one or two shades, but I really wanted something more orange because it's going to make my eyes blue pop. So let's look at this. Ooh. Yes. And this will complement each other with the pink palette. At first in Sephora, I was like, uh, I don't know if I should buy this one. But honestly, I'm really happy that I did. I really love this. Those colors amazing i can't wait to try this and this one would go with the neon green which i didn't really like the color story of the palette it's just it wasn't vibing with me at all but honestly i am happy with those eyeshadow palettes and i can't wait to try these there's going to be reviews on these uh, on my youtube channel i know that it just it came out a long time ago but i'm still going to do reviews just because i want to give you my opinion and if you want to know any eyeshadow palettes that you want me to try just Put them down below in the comments and I will um, get them for you. So. so let's get to the sample that I chose. So you can choose your samples and in store you cannot choose your samples. So the samples that I chose is the Youth to the People Kale Plus Spinach Green Tea and Yellowronic Acid. It is a Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. So this I'm going to try. Can't wait to try it. And after that, I wanted to try the new formulation of the Smashbox um, number one primer, which is the Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Just because I was using uh, the Milk Makeup Hydrogra Primer with the stick. I don't think that they sell the stick anymore, uh, even online. So this is the formulation. So I wanted to try the liquid one because I know that this primer is really good, okay? Like it blurs up everything on your face. Literally, your pores disappear. So this is the number one primer. If you have oily skin and big pores, this will save you, okay? Yes, so... The next thing that you can have is online, you can have some, um, after a certain amount that you spend, which the palettes were $25 each because they, they were $37 usually, but they were on sale for $25. So I was like, wow, I need to buy like three, <laughs> right? Because it was way cheaper. It came to like $288, uh, an eyeshadow, so... So it's not too bad, you know, like I really like it. So <laughs> that you can choose like three things. I decided to choose three things because after a certain amount of money that you spend, you can have two free samples or you can have two other stuff. So um, I decided to pick with one of uh, the coupons that they give you online. So you can check it out with Honey. Uh, if you don't have Honey, you can go check it out. I have a little link in my description box so you can go check it out if you want but that's how i got this deal you can also go find it out in on the sephora website but you kind of have to search so honey will give it to you right away so and um the one that i took is the artist couture diamond glow powder because i wanted to try a little highlight i already have highlighters and i wanted to try another one so i just took this and I like the packaging, it's really cute. Uh, it might be dark a little bit for me. It is Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder. So I didn't open it either way. It's golden, so I would put that on my eyes. I don't know if it would fit on here because it's kind of dark. I would have to try it out, but I think it would be good. Anyway, if you want a video on it, even though it's a little sample, trial style, size, tell me down in the comments because I've got a lot of products to try and I'm excited. So the other thing that I have is what I bought. So I, I bought with my points um, sample size things. So I bought a primer with my points, which this one was 100 points. It is a Beauty Blender The Leveler Pore Minimizing Primer. So uh, it comes in a little box like this. You have some information on it, but this is 100 points and you can try uh, your thing so I wanted to try this so that's what I got and you can choose online if you go in store let me tell you the selection is like nothing it's really garbage so um yeah and then another thing that I was excited for is the Anastasia Beverly Hills 
eye primer so i see a lot of influencers using that primer and uh it's like a battle between abh and p louise base so i i took the the eye primer so i wanted to take the eye primer and i wanted to do a battle with the p louise base so if you want to see this it's going to be on my youtube channel too and uh just make sure to subscribe and when it comes out you're gonna know so that is what the mini version look like it's really cute. I can't wait to try it and battle it with P. Louise. So which one is the best? I don't know. We'll, we'll try. They might be the same. I mean, if they're the same, honestly, I'm just going to go with ABBH because I don't have any Morphe store near me, near me and I don't want to pay for shipping for Morphe. So other thing that I took was 500 points, which was expensive, but I really wanted to try it. So it is Look at My Sexy Peaches, which is a trial size uh, makeup set. So this is the makeup set from Too Faced. And I'm excited to try these because I have I already tried the mascara, but it's another mascara to add to my collection. I had the waterproof one, and sometimes waterproof it's kind of like me, you know. So that's the box from Beauty Insider, which is cute. Can you see it? All right, so the 500 point set, it's a beautiful thing, yes. And then it came in here. What you have is the there's a bunch of shit on it. There's a bunch of things. Cooling my skin perfecting primer. So another primer to try. Then you have the Better Than Sex Mascara. So this one. And then you have the Peach Perfect Translucent. Oh, this is opening. It's opening. Oh my God. Uh, translucent Peach Whisper. So it's a mattifying loose setting powder, which I saw a lot of people use too. And I wanted to try it. So this is good and then there is this matte lipstick sex on the peach which is funny um instead of sex on the beach it's sex on the peach and it is a matte lipstick i really like the packaging i think it's cute i tried their liquid lip before and i really didn't like it but uh the shade might be dark for me but we'll try it because sometimes dark shades can fit you in lots of ways so, depending on your eye makeup and everything else sometimes a bold dark lip is so amazing this was the beauty insider little makeup set which is really nice uh that's why if you want to spend your points spend them online on the sephora website or on the app because i'm telling you you will waste your points i was in my points before in store and it was garbage like sometimes they have good stuff in store but most of the time it's for the birthday present that you have like you go on your birthday and they give you the set um but yeah that's what it is so that's what i bought i really hope uh, that you enjoyed it so that's my little sephora haul and um which one is best online or in store it depends what you want to do uh what i do recommend is if something is not on sale or is never gonna go on sale you can go buy it in the store and you can ask for some um samples of other products that you want to try so that's what's good about in store if you want to have if you want to spend your points it is better to spend it online so go online there's a bunch of deals all the time uh things that you want to get rid of or that's never going to come back then if you want to do this then go in online and go shop online or you before you go on the sephora store just go check out online what's the deals and everything so and the beauty bazaar which uh where you can spend your points check it out before even spending your points in store that's my little video and uh do you like my little ponytails <laughs> like i didn't really change or anything so anyways um that's what it is so thank you so much for watching i really hope that you're the <laughs> Really hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see all those awesome videos. So I post five videos a week, Monday through Friday. And if you don't want to miss any video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. So I really love you beauties, and I will see you in the next one. Bye beauties.